Okay, FSD beta 10.69.3.1. Uh, we're here in the uh, downtown Toronto core. We're going to get a first impressions on how it's like to drive uh, one in the downtown core and two along streetcar tracks. Then we'll try to do a bunch of scenarios where we're trying to uh, pass uh, the streetcar and uh, we'll explain that as we go. But uh, here, let's start. Let's turn off the auto, auto nav voice there so we can see better. Take a turn here and then we'll engage. Okay, so our first scenario here is um, well, since we have a streetcar in front of us, what we're going to do is we're going to try and pass it. Um, with the streetcars, you can see right now, it's, it has those door lights that are blinking red. So you cannot pass those door lights uh, because pedestrians are coming out. You don't want to run them over. So if you are behind the streetcar, you would stay completely behind the streetcar. But if you got caught in, in the side by side with the streetcar, if the doors open, then you just have to slot yourself in between the two doors and then don't move. So we'll see how FSD... Um, behaves trying to pass the streetcar if we are, are able to. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a challenge because uh, usually this right lane is blocked and we're not able to pass, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully we don't go too fast and we beat the streetcar though. Hopefully we get to the next stop where we're still behind the streetcar and we'll see if we can pass it. Oh, it's turning. How oh, horrible. <laughs> okay, we'll have to catch another um, another streetcar. But uh, let's get at some impressions on driving in downtown, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So the f first thing I notice is that FSD obviously always wants to drive centered in its lane. Um, but because we're driving centered in our lane, we're actually driving on top of the streetcar track. And if you can see the car in front of us, let's see how it straddles it. So that's either uh, uh, hugging the dotted line on the right, or sometimes we drive by hugging the yellow line on the left so that we don't drive over the streetcar tracks because obviously there's going to be less grip uh, on there. Uh, but FSD does not know that. So we're, we're riding right on the streetcar tracks right now. See, see now, see the car in front? It's straddling the left now, because that's what we do. We straddle either the left or the right. We never drive on top of the tracks itself. Uh, but FSD does not know that, so. Okay, hopefully we can uh, find another street car to follow. Or might have just to cut this video and uh, I'll, I'll reactivate it when we find a street car. But for now, let's get some downtown driving and we'll see how uh, how it behaves with a lot of traffic and weird roads etc So there's a streetcar in front of us, it's going the opposite direction. What I'm probably going to do is um, try to turn around and then chase it, and then we'll follow that streetcar um, when, when I have the opportunity to do so safely. Okay, so we've, uh, well, the 
get the route. Uh, we turned around. We're headed back uh, west. And uh, let's just put a nav point in. I don't think it really matters too much. But uh, see all the craziness of the downtown with uh, people crossing on red lights. We'll, uh, we'll try to chase down that streetcar. If not, we'll find another one. It's complaining that it's driving over the line. Well, you're the one driving over the line, not me. Like, we're completely over the line. <laughs> Hopefully it goes back in before the car comes. Oh, what happened to... Oh, that's why. Whoops, my fault. Um, auto steer wasn't on. That's my fault. Don't know how that happened. Okay, that's better. Now you're driving. Before it was a dumb human with the steering. Okay, there's the streetcar. We'll try to catch it. We'll try to catch it. We'll try to get onto the right lane and see if we can pass it safely uh, when its doors open. Or rather, before its door is open or stop when the door is open. Oh, breaking. We're going to piss off the guy behind us. Okay. Pardon my language. Um, I had to step on the gas a bit there. It was breaking when, when I guess the driver's face got narrow. Something that wasn't really required at that point. Okay. Up ahead should be some should be some area where we can take the right lane, hopefully, and then try to pass it. Okay, so we're going to force it into the right lane, um, just so we can have that scenario where it's trying to pass. If I didn't force that lane change, I think it would just be happy to follow behind. Unfortunately, there's a car in front of us, so we can't be the first one to deal with the street car, and it's not stopping. Uh, now we're overtaking it, which, well, it wasn't the scenario we wanted, but why are you slowing down? Where are you going? What are you doing? Oh, this is horrible. Like, we're completely stopped. Okay, I got to take over. I don't know what's going on there. We're completely stopped, and uh, it was trying to lane change, but it wouldn't lane change. So, um... Let's try to re-engage, okay. We're, or, or maybe we reached the end of our destination, maybe that was it. So maybe it wasn't FSC's fault, maybe it just reached the end of its destination, and so it, it didn't, it kind of just slowed down and said, we're here. Maybe that was it. Let's look at the map. Yeah, we definitely reached the end of our destination. So uh, we'll drive around a bit here on these curvy roads. Let's see how it handles it. It's crossing the line a bit, but otherwise pretty okay. Uh, let's see how it handles our lane ending here. Lane changing through the intersection. Um, okay. Well, maybe we'll maybe we'll go down and try to find some other. We'll go down to Queen Street maybe. Let's see if there's something better there. We got to just sit around here and wait for another streetcar. I think I'm just going to drive until I see another streetcar and then we'll uh, try to follow it. Autopilot, no destination, it's just going to drive straight. Okay, up ahead is a streetcar, which is going to need to um, 
pull into this parking lot and then uh, scope out the streetcar when it passes us. So we're just going to kind of do a U-turn here. It's quite safe. And we'll just uh, sit behind this car. And then when the streetcar passes, then we'll, we'll follow through. The streetcar is coming. Actually, two streetcars. I think we're going to wait for the second streetcar. Uh, no, it's taking too long. Okay, well, we're going to go behind this streetcar. And then we'll see what we can do. So I should have a nav set to go straight along Dundas. Uh, we're not trying to really go anywhere. Uh, but just so it has a destination. And uh, we'll see what how it behaves behind the streetcar and if there is a right lane open we'll take it and we'll see what happens how it deals with the uh, do not pass open doors sign that you see right there so right now going through chinatown i'm pretty sure yeah the right lanes are all blocked but uh, once we get to about university it should open up and we should be able to take the right lane Let's try it right here. Come on. Okay, what are we gonna do? Come on. Come on. Come on. Engage, engage, engage. Engage. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna run them over? Oh, I, I'm afraid. I think it stopped. Did it notice it stopped? Okay. Oh, wow. I think it knew to stop. Yeah. It's got the logic. I mean, it wasn't a perfect test, but I think I think we just showed it. When it saw the blinking lights, it stopped, and then when the door started closing, it went across. Not, oh, that's horrible. Oh, that lane change right in front of the streetcar was pretty horrible without signaling and everything. It was just kind of going around that bike. Uh, so we kind of got to get away from that streetcar. We probably pissed them off. Um, so the problem with these tests is that we typically, we uh, too easily outrun the streetcar, and then we got to find another streetcar to follow or we got to pull into a side street and wait so yeah try to find another streetcar